You've referred to the unification. What exactly is it? The unification? That's the racial harmony I've been talking about. When all the races come together and are capable of living with each other, the worlds are key to open their resources to the mensch, wake up the sleeping Sartan, and ready the realm for the interconnection. Each world set up its own test to determine when the unification occurred. When the men figure out the way into the Citadel, when they work together to enter it, they will have unified. This was supposed to happen in every realm. After all of them were ready, the Council was supposed to complete the Sundering by interconnecting the realms. The new society would begin. But it's been so long. Far too long. Something went wrong. What do you think went wrong with the plan? We took on too much ourselves. We were gods, and we were infallible. I warned Sama that we should wait. There were alternatives, but he didn't listen. He was full of his... dream. What is this dragon? He's my pet dragon. I met him shortly after I came to Priam. He took a liking to me, so I decided to adopt him told me that he embodies good in the wave. Doesn't make any sense to me. If he's supposed to be the personification of good, then he wouldn't be so lazy! That dragon is the embodiment of good? I know. Hard to believe, isn't it? Especially since he didn't just eat you up as soon as you arrived. Are you implying that I'm evil? Of course not! Are you inferring that you are evil? That may be important. We might be on the verge of a breakthrough! A few more sessions and we'll be able to make some serious progress on your complex. What's the wave? You know, it's when a portion of the audience lifts their arms, followed by another portion, then another, until it completes a full circle around the stadium. No, oh, wait, that's different. The wave is a little harder to explain. Reality is balanced. Good and evil can never be more powerful than each other. When that happens, the wave compensates. The dragon was created a long time ago in response to something else. Something very evil. Do you know what the evil thing was? Is, my good man, is! Since my dragon here is still around, you must assume that his evil counterpart is still around as well. I have my theories as to its form, but it's such a depressing subject that I prefer not to talk about it. Enough. Let's talk about something else. All right. How about those Steelers? Think they'll go all the way? Where are the other Sartan? I don't know. Have you seen them? I figured they'd been hiding from me all this time. Some joke. I turn my back for a couple years, take a little moonlight stroll, and they all go away. Well, it's not funny! Where do you think they could be hiding? Well, I left them in the Citadel when I went for a walk. I assumed that they'd be along, but they never came. I haven't seen them since. I found a group of them on Arianus. They were in crystal coffins. Of course they were. The unification has yet to take place on Arianus. When it does, the coffins will open and the Sartan will come out to help the Minch. No, you don't understand. I did something there and the coffins opened. All of the Sartan were dead. They're dead? All dead? How did it happen? How could it happen? You did this, patron, didn't you? Somehow your race has struck back and killed us! Admit it! You're wrong, Zifnab. One of my missions is to find out where the Sartan disappeared to. If the Sartan are dying off, it's not of my doing. Ah, of course. Your people were imprisoned when this happened. You couldn't have had anything to do with it. There's something else out there. Why are you here? I don't know why I'm here exactly. Even though our policy is non-interference when it comes to the unification, I felt I had to help it along. It's been so long and the Mensch have never been so close as they are now. How long have you been here, alone? I'm not alone. I've got my dragon, I've got the children. I don't need more than that. But it seems like a long time since I've seen any of my people. A long time. Let's talk about something else. You're obviously uncomfortable with this subject. Suit yourself. Where is Priam's seal piece? Ah, the seal piece. Your lord needs it, huh? You know, there are better uses for it than what he intends. What do you know about my lord? 
Oh, nothing. I'm sure he's a wonderful fella. Life of the party kind of guy. Am I right? I'll bet he could show me a card trick or two. How do you know what my lord intends? What do patron lords usually intend after they've escaped from thousands of years of imprisonment? You think maybe he wants to conquer the realms? Reform the world to enslave the masses? No, nobody's that anti-social. What uses? Interested? Well, back in the old days, we had plans for those pieces. Big plans. Plans that make other plans look really small. Really huge plans. And important, woo-wee! You don't get any more important than those plans. That's how we made plans in the old days. Big and important. Well, what were your plans? What plans? Don't try and throw me off track. Where is it? All right, don't get in a huff. Where did we put that piece? Didn't we build something to put it in? Oh, that's right. It's in the Citadel. All right, that's a start. What's the Citadel? That's a pretty open-ended question. The Citadel is a fortress. Or it's a city. Or it's a power station. Take your pick. Where is the Citadel? Oh, it's that way, I think. You should be able to see it from the air in your flying ship. It's really big. Had to be, you know. How do I get in? That's a toughie. No one can get in. In fact, it was designed to keep everyone out. I certainly don't think any exceptions were made for angry patrons. Of course, after the unification, anyone could just walk right through the front door. You mean I'll have to make all of the races get along before I can get that door open? Well, it's not quite that difficult. We set up a test to detect when the races started to get along. We gave each a symbol, a golden sword to the humans, a golden staff to the elves, and a golden hammer to the dwarves. If a representative from each race places their symbol upon the door to the citadel at the same time, it will open. The three races must do it together. One man with all the symbols wouldn't be able to open the door. Where are all of those symbols? They certainly didn't take quite the care of them that we hoped they would. Only the humans still revere their symbol, but they look on it as a symbol of leadership instead of its actual meaning. The humans role in a new integrated society. Every human leader carries it. It gives them the authority to rule. I believe the current holder is the young princess who occasionally comes to my gatherings. The elves threw their staff into a local pit called the Maw. It's been lost for generations. I don't know how the unification can occur until it is recovered. The dwarf, straight-lined practical thinkers that they are, took one look at the hammer, decided that it was the most inferior hammer they'd ever seen, and stuck it deep in their weapons vault. I don't think they even remember that they have it. Isn't there any other way to get in the Citadel? Well, let's see. A spell might help you out. Maybe if you blew down a wall or something. There's one spell I remember. Uh, what was it? Uh, tie a wall, lie a stall? I can't seem to recall. Oh well, sorry I couldn't help. Didn't you come from there? How'd you get out? Getting out is not the same thing as getting in. In fact, they're two entirely different things. Yin and yang, night and day, black hat and white hat. Tell me more about the Citadel itself. All right. How is the Citadel a fortress? At present, that seems to be the only task that it accomplishes on a regular basis. All of its other functions were intended to come online following the unification. Right now, the Citadel lies dormant. The Titans roam the forest. Everything waits on the unification. That's why I'm trying so hard to convince the children to throw away their prejudices. Titans? What are they? The Titans are magical creatures created to operate the Citadel. We built them to last two big suckers, maybe three times your height, and powerful enough to rip up a small tree. <laughs> Their appearance is a little unsettling. They don't have any eyes. Don't need them. We gave them enough magic to sense everything around them. In fact, they can sense things miles away when they're motivated enough. When we built this realm, we dumped them into the forest. Until the citadel powered up, they had nothing to do. 
I think they went a little crazy. <laughs> they knew they were supposed to serve the Sartan, and they knew that the Citadel was important, but that's about it. Titans aren't the smartest creatures. Somehow they found a Sartan relic. I think it was a crystal sculpture of some sort. Without purpose in their lives, they fixated on it. To them, I suppose it had religious significance, and to this day, they worship it. Against all of our expectations, the Mench actually encountered the Titans. Dwarves moved into the area surrounding the Titans forest. They understandably wandered in. The Titans reacted by defending their relic, and they drove the Dwarves off, dragging their wounded behind them. But Dwarves are stubborn creatures, and they continue to live just outside of the forest. As long as they stay outside, the Titans leave them alone.